the God that was, the God that is, the God that is to come, the Alpha and the Omega, our God, our King, our Joy, our Justifier, our Sanctifier. Let's bless Him. Let's worship Him. Last year we started this program, and this year God gave us the grace, even to witness another one. I want us to lift up our voice and worship God for the grace, the strength, the power, the energy. I want us to thank Him for the divine covering, divine covering, divine protection that God put upon and place upon our life that make us able to witness a day like this. Let's worship Him for what He has done the last one year and let's thank Him for what He is going to do today and what God is going to do in the next one year. Let's give Him glory, let's give Him honor for His spirit. The spirit of worship will come down. Let's thank Him for as many that God will use. Let's thank Him for as many vessels that God is going to fill. Let's thank Him for hope and heaven. Let's thank Him for His power, His presence. Let's thank Him for the world. Let's thank Him for the song ministration. Let's give Him glory. Let's give Him honor from the beginning to the end because He will take control. He will glorify Himself. That He will bless you, worship you. That He will give you all the glory. Daddy, we give you all the honor. Daddy, we give you all the adoration. Thank you, blessed and redeemer. Thank you, we share to please. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's bind every spirit that is not of God in this arena. Whatever spirit that will not join us in worshiping God, in praising God, in referencing God, let them go into bondage. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's begin to pray that every power that is not of God, let fire of God fall upon them, let them be consumed. In the name of Jesus, let declare this presence. Let declare this place, even to be filled with the presence of God. Let declare the presence of God in this arena. Let declare the blood of Jesus to saturate and sanctify. Even this environment and everyone that God will use. Let's immerse them inside the pool of the blood for cleansing, for purification, for consecration. That every worship that we bring before the Lord, even tonight, that is going to be accepted. That our worship, our praises, will be accepted unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let's pray that God will take absolute control. That God will have his way. That God will prove himself mighty and really in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray that the name of the Lord will be glorified in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Our Father, we bless you, we worship you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration, for there is no one like you. Daddy, be exalted in the name of Jesus. As we have gathered, O oh Lord my God, tonight, Daddy, I pray that your presence will come down. Any sin, any iniquity, any transgression, that will be a barrier to your move tonight. Daddy, by mercy, I pray you will forgive and you will cleanse them by your blood in the name of Jesus. And therefore, Daddy, dedicate everything in this arena unto you for your glory. Daddy, for your use. By the power in your blood, O oh Lord my God. Daddy, use everything, both living and not living in this area, even for your glory in the name of Jesus. Let heaven be open. Let the spirit of worship, let it possess every one of us. And at the end of the program of today, let it indeed be that we have met with the Lord. And as we proceed, Lord, proceed with us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. It's too small. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come now, rise up on our feet and begin to magnify the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. He's the Lion of the tribe of Judah. The one who was and is to come. Why don't you lift up your hands this evening that you need to magnify? Thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. You are the King of kings. You're the Lord of lords. Worthy are you ever
say you be faithful, Lord. From, from the ages past, sing you be faithful, Lord. You be faithful, Lord. From the ages past, from the ages past. To our worthy of my praise. Oh, to our worthy of my praise. Sing as it is. To our worthy of my praise. Oh, oh.
administration of our choir. So as they file out, uh, be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, the choir. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you're happy to be in the presence of God, rise up and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.
children to minister unto us and by the grace of God we are going to go to the choir second ministration I believe they are ready they are not looking up choir yeah God bless you let's celebrate them as they come forward
our reverend as you'll be coming forward to give us the short word. Reverend Adekole Brian, are you are Augustus, that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with a child. And so it was that while they were dead, days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her first son and wrapped him in a swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be for to all people. For unto you, is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in a swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on the earth peace, goodwill toward men. I will give you praise for that which you have done. Finished, accomplished. The same that is manifesting in our lives, even today. Be glorified forever, Lord. Amen. I appreciate you for who you are. Oh, yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Being here today is a thing of joy to me. It took me back close to six decades. About six decades ago, I was born on the wrong side of the divide. Did you hear what my name was? Yes. That's just a rhino. That's a message for another day. But you know, I, read, I, I didn't actually don't be here. Yes. But here are my uh, his mercy. I was born wrong, brought up wrong. So I looked across the divide all the time to see more joyous people whose life was not as chaotic as mine, where I was born and brought up. Christmas used to be the most joyous moment in those days. Even as a Muslim boy, I knew there was something different about Christmas. Have you ever heard the, the song that says, Nino Otunto Belayi, Tikile Silo Yato, you people, Many of you that were born into it, you may not understand. But I knew the wickedness of the side where I grew up from. And we used to watch with delight, with envy, how the Christians celebrated. The seed was being sown into a heart like mine at that time. That if truly we want to have joy in the world, we have to embrace Christ and get out of crisis. And the same trend continued as I went into Christian college, Christian uh, schools all the land. The most joyous occasion in the school then were the Christmas period. And I never missed a Christmas carol. You know what moved me so to, 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 to tearful joy this evening? 
Hmm? You modernize all the songs, you make them danceable. <laughs> and I noticed that. God bless you, choir. A tattoo in I tell you. You may think you are few, but angelic hosts have joined us here today. Amen. The joy that I always feel at Christmas period was in this house. All glory to God. Amen. But when I read this story <clears throat> from the scriptures, uh, I saw that celebration is the birthright of every believer. Hello. Uh, this celebration is the birthright of every believer. Yes. So. The joy we are feeling today was purchased by someone who dedicated his life to bringing joy to the world. But the background to Christ's birth did not suggest any form of celebration. It's, it looks like a world like ours today. A world of ta tasking and taxing. Many people are supposed to be here today, but they have gone for a word of task so they could be taxed. Mm -hmm. You see? Are we missing out on something? Mm -hmm. Dedicating our life to Christ is what could bring us out, out of any crisis, be it financial, be it the payment of bills and all of that. See what the Savior went through right from the womb. It was an era of task and tax. Everybody must go back to their cities to be censored and to be taxed. And I saw this couple, Mary and Joseph, with a baby in the womb. And they had to labor from where they were working to their native place where they will submit the money. It wasn't an easy journey. They moved from where they were to where they should be. And for somebody who was heavily pregnant, that was labor. And as if that was not enough, the back bank came upon her, another labor. So we exist in this nation as if we are sold out to labor after labor. Task only to end in tax. That was laborious for somebody like Mary and for Joseph to coast along, hmm? not only a pregnancy that was not his, that he couldn't explain. It was a controversial journey. So I don't know what controversy is surrounding your existence in this place today. But I have good news for you. That he who delights in liberating from frustration to celebration Amen. is in this house. Amen. And his joy is being bad and fresh, even at this Christmas. It has always been. And it will forever be until we have the fullness of his joy at his feet. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And look at the king of kings who was to be born. There was no hotel room for him. And that was a mystery. The only place where he could find a place of delivery, a place of delivery for him who was coming to deliver, was in the manger. And uh, it wasn't a high brow hospital where there will be nurses and midwives with face masks and social distancing. It was a smelly place. Are you, are you, are you getting the picture of what he went through? The nurses and midwives were smelly sheep. And there was no form of sanitation. Yet, the master of the universe chose that lowly circumstance so that he could, he could relate with the lowly that he has come for. And when my sister said, we should, we should pick it from Dan and raise it from hope, is that not what Christ came to do? Yes. Take us out of the crisis to lift us unto him who is Christ, the anointed, the Messiah. What therefore are we celebrating today? Celebration of a special birth. 
immaculate conception. Celebration of a gift. For God so loved. The way each time I read that scripture, John 3.16, it's, 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 it gets me excited. It's not thinking of loving. He has already loved. In your lowly estate, in your sinful estate, Christ loved you. But the extreme of the expression of that love was him coming down from his glory to re relate with human story so that he could bring us up to the level of his glory. So we deserve to celebrate today because it's a celebration of glory. And everybody that dares to celebrate is he moved from story to glory. What story has brought you to America? What story have you written in America? It shall end in glory. Amen. Because you are here under the anointing of his glory. We call this place Restoration House. What is he restoring? Is restoring people from story to glory, Amen. from frustration to celebration. Amen. Hey. Amen. Are we excited in this house? Yes. What are we celebrating? It's a celebration of power. And each time I come in here and I see this picture, I'm excited, Pastor. You don't understand. Hmm? Each time I see it, I remember that old song that they used to sing and I was scorn at them. Yes, or no? Otito Ati. We are celebrating today the path of Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. That's the reason for our celebration. He has come to pave the way out of insignificance to significance. He has come to pave the way for he who is zero to become hero. He has come to pave the way for he or she who has nothing to have something and become somebody. So if you understand what you are doing here, I hope there are still be chance so we can do it better. Yes. Because we are not dancing enough. Because we are not jumping enough. Because we are not excited enough. So, so let somebody tell me I repent. I repent. I repent. I repent. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. What are we celebrating? Celebration of divine timing. Divine timing. Galatians chapter 4 from verse 3 says, Even so, when we were children, we were in bondage under the elements of the world. Mark that verse 4. It says, But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent his son forth. God is sending his son forth into your heart, into your home. From today to make a change. The unchangeable changer is the catalyst that can move you from where you are for long, gloomy, doomy, to be so excited. Amen. And I hope you are catching that message now. Amen. What are we celebrating today? Celebration of abundance. Maybe a thief has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But right now, and I say right now, Right now, Amen. right now, he has come to give you joy, Amen. to give you goodness, Amen. to give you life, Amen. and not in small quantity, Amen. but to give you more abundantly. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I am admonishing you, I am advocating, I am pleading with you. Let your joy be in abundance. Amen. Let your song be in abundance. Amen. And let your dance be in abundance. Amen. Show the world a reason to be merry by you being merry. Be an example from today of divine merriment. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for kindling the joy of Christ in my heart and in my life today. I have not made mistake by coming here. Thanks for allowing me to share my testimony. Lastly, I left my family in Nigeria in 1991. And I went to UK in search of greener pasture. Then I became very, very sad. Just recently married. Hmm? Not, not just 
That's under two years. My wife gave birth, we just marked first year of the baby, but she was pregnant for another one. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I carry substance. That's why it's manifesting. Mm-hmm. When I said first year birthday and she was carrying another one, we love each other too much. So that's the only explanation. But I left her back home and I said, within six months, you're going to have to come to meet me. But within three months, I've started being very sad. Where I thought I will be. I'll be ripping the, the pants as if they have a seat on the road. <laughs> then came winter. I went September 19th of that year, 1991. I arrived at the UK. But by winter, when I wake up and I look through the window and the black paint of the road were all white, <laughs> then tears started streaming down my eyes. I wasn't happy again until I went to, uh, uh, what's the name of the Kesinji Temple for Christmas Carol. And that was where I contacted, I made a contact with this song, Joy to the World. When that song was raised, me that was down was activated back to, the, back to life. And since then, Joy to the World has always been my favorite. And that's exactly what Christ has come to institute in our heart and our heart. Joy to the world. There is no joy nowhere else, sir. Not in dollars. Mm-hmm. Not in pants, darling. Definitely not. Joy is not about America or Africa. It's about your heart or not. Joy to the world. The reason why anybody should celebrate at all is to have Christ in his life. And then that world, the world of such a person will be devoid of Christ. Why are we celebrating? It's because of Jesus. If it's because of him, he has perfected everything that concerns us. I wish you Merry Christmas. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you, Nadia. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Nadia has always been a blessing to this house. I will pray that the source of your inspiration will never dry up in the name of Jesus. The Lord will continue to increase that more and more in the name of Jesus. And everything that Daddy touched, God is going to multiply it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. So what we have now on our agenda is special numbers. You know you'll be hearing from the people in this house. So we want uh, those that we are invited and they came on time. We want to bring uh, them out for special number. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Satova, are you ready? Okay, let's go. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason for the season is Christ. Like I was saying, a life without Christ is full of crisis. Sure. And uh, I was privileged with somebody yesterday, and I told them that uh, if you're jumping, shouting, screaming, and eating your love rice for Christmas, and um, you don't have the real joy, the real joy is Christ. It's not that we're calling ourselves a Christian, a Christian that doesn't mean our Christ is yet to be a Christian. So I want the Christian to join me to sing the song. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive Let every Yeah. Hey. 
valleys on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Telling us that we have a work of evangelism. Evangelism. That Christ is born is not for you alone, it's to go out there and tell somebody that in your life you need what? You need Jesus Christ. You're gonna sing it one more time? I will roll it over here. Go tell it on the Thank you. 
Special number, you know that he said that we didn't do it very well. So I believe we have started doing it. <laughs> okay, praise the Lord. I tell you, the choir said they want to. The, the choir said they want to do it again. That is said they want them to do it very well. So maybe the first session, the first ministration. Uh, the choir might have to come and do it then. After that, we go to the second special number. Praise the Lord. Thank you. 
Praise the Lord. I believe they have done it now, right? Yes. Yeah, they will walk up now. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Uh, let's invite uh, Sister Esther as she comes forward to, to give us a special number. Uh, we don't want to leave any stone unturned. Yes. So you will come to worship God. It is a place of worship. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we really happy tonight? Yes. We are not done yet. Yes. So I want everybody to be on their, on their feet. Even though I didn't plan this, Mr. Hey, you got me, right? Hallelujah. Amen. I don't really have a special number, but we have praise and worship. Because Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes. That's why we are happy. Are we ready? Yes. Are we ready? Yes.
Over to January, January. Sorry. Pray, praise the Lord. Can somebody get the knife? Okay, maybe we should tell the children in the house, all the children to join them. All the children. Let all the children join them. Last year it was the children, only children that caught it. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Are we ready to cut this cake? December, you are born in December. You just walk in, just walk into glory. You are just walking into glory straight away. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Uh, we are going to spell worship. This month is the month of worship. And we are going to spell worship. Uh, somebody give me W. w. Give me o. o. Give me R. R. Give me S. S. Give me H. Give me I, I and give me P. P. And what do we have? Wash Praise the Lord. And we invite our daddy to pray for everyone here and the church in town. Let's bow down our heads in prayers. Lord, we bow down before you. And I know you are faithful. Hallelujah. Yes. You will make sure that we don't bow down in sorrow. Amen. 
throughout this year. Make sure, Lord, that we don't bow before I do. Amen. All through this year. Amen. Whatever it is that should not enter into the new year with us, as we bow unto you, let such things bow. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You have moved us from frustration to celebration. Amen. That is why we are here. Yes. So joyful before you. Amen. So thankful before you. And we commemorate this by the cutting of this cake. Any parts of our being that will not give you glory. Father, cut them off. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Any element in our hopes that will not give you joy. Lord, cut them off. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Any element in your church that will cause ridicule to your name. Oh Lord, except they repent, cut them off. Amen. Separate your church Amen. from story to glory. Amen. Move us Amen. from glory to more glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This that you have demonstrated today will be the least joy. Amen. Amen. You will move from joy to joy. Amen. Amen. You will move from dance to dance. Amen. Appreciation to appreciation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, build your church. Amen. Lord, and let the gate of hell not prevail. Amen. Give us a merry heart. Amen. Let every day of our life be Christmas. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We glorify Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. What's the last song? This is the last song. Please, if you have your candle, if you have a candle, put it on. On your candle. If you don't have candle, please, can you use your phone? Use your phone, right? Have the lights. Thank you. Silence, lights.
wanting. Just wanting. You might have many needs, but narrow it to wanting. Narrow it to wanting. Ask from God. Imagine yourself standing before Christ and asking him that wanting. Stretch your feet. Just wanting. Wanting that we make that different. Wanting that we change that story. Wanting that we turn the story to glory. Wanting. Don't be afraid. You have worshipped me. Heaven has opened. You are standing before him and he said, ask. What is that wanting that you want to ask? Just wanting. The most important thing. The important need of your life. What is that wanting? That you have tried and tried and tried. But it seems all effort is in vain. Ask him. You can't worship him and just go like that. Ask him want. It. Just want it. Just want it. Want it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I stand upon the word that has been spoken and all the messages that we have passed across tonight and by the virtue of the request that everyone has made before you today and I am praying let them become testimony in the name of Jesus Amen. something notable, something visible Amen. something that we are proud of, something that we will testify Amen. that when I attended Christmas Carol in Restoration House 2022 this is what the Lord has done. That is that very thing, Lord. Let them come to manifestation Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever, Lord, my God, that has been delayed, debarred, even denied that thing from coming to manifestation, I command them right now to give way in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before the end of this year, I command that thing to come to manifestation Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak to the north, I speak to the south, I speak to the east, I speak to the west. I command them to release that thing unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy, because you have done it. All glory and all honor to your name. Every voice, every word, every deed, every talent you have used tonight, Daddy, bless them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Daddy, not just bless them, but make them a blessing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The blessing that will not run dry. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. All glory be to your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's say the grace together. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, as we fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. A Merry Christmas to everyone. Tomorrow we are going to have Christmas get together. I don't want to say Christmas party. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so we are going to meet here. We are going to celebrate. We are going to change these seats. It's not going to be like this. We are going to come tomorrow to celebrate, to dine in the presence of God. So if you don't have the church of your own, you want to join us tomorrow, you can join us. Everyone that has the church of their own, let's try to be at the church tomorrow and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for coming. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Merry Christmas, everyone, and Happy New Year in advance. It's the same. <coughs> if you want to take photo with the cake, we can quickly do it before it is being caught.
Come and take our picture. As soon as I am moving, it's not going to be good for Daddy to come and go with us. Uh, where's your camera? Uh, let's oh, yeah, come and take this. Uh, Okay, this one is okay. It's okay. 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 Okay.